when we're going to be doing a landed life workshop ED presentation out today. We'll first start off with an introduction. Yeah, I'm a PCHEP ED committee member. As I am the youth desk lead and ED officer. As Mitchell here, we are part of the Portland Committee for Human Rights in the Philippines. If you want to learn more about that, go to the dive and have a trip one in DC. So, the for today is an introduction, objectives, we're going, what are the resources of the Philippines, the mining corporations, health effects of coal, climate change, Mining Act of 1995, owned by Nihon, resistance, and finally, our call to action. Objectives for this ED. So educate y'all on the current issues around mining and how that affects the Lumads and the locals. To encourage you to go to the Philippines through the Kapit Bisi Kapatan Network or other exposure trips. And build with the teacher and the youth and students addressions that people are taking on and how we can support here in the U.S. Before we can talk about the resources in the Philippines, first of all, an idea of what it is for, and I want to portray and show the resources that are in the Philippines. The different types of features that the Philippines are hosting, iron, gold, and the best piece of wildlife, wood, The video of how the Lumas were affected by mining operations and the inhumane practices by the foreign corporations towards our people. The link will be available in the slideshow for you to click. I mentioned earlier, um, uh, mining corporations are specifically um, harassing the Lumas and locals within the, those areas. Um, so I specifically wanted to focus on what are the big uh, um, players in the mining operation right now in Mindanao. So players right now are Core, um, which is an Anglo-Swiss multinational commodity training and mining company. Um, and then also have Extrata, which is the world's uh, fourth largest mining company after bought WMC, which is, stands for Western Mining Corporation in 2005. Um, uh, they're also the largest producer of copper, coal, ferrochrome, nickel, aluminum, and zinc, and actually control the international market for these minerals. And are within 20 countries and employ about 43,000 people. And their um, uh, key player is SI, uh, Sagittarius Mining Incorporation, and uh, they are the local firm in the Philippines. And these companies are getting a lot of attention right now due to, to the Tampacan project in South Sabato. We're trying to really push for large scale mining where the local government has already agreed, locals and the local government has already agreed they, they do not want large scale mining within this area. Now, something that was mentioned um, um, before is like, how are these mining corporations? fuel to get all of those minerals. And that is through coal. Now, the coal side plants is the key to the mining in the Philippines. 
Um, as mentioned earlier, coal is one of the big uh, um, minerals in the Philippines as well. And coal specifically is a combustible bla uh, black or dark brown rock consisting of uh, carbonized plant matter found uh, mainly in underground deposits and widely used as fuel. Um, so to clarify, coal is different than your charcoal. You can continue your charcoal, it's not a hazard um, um, as coal is. Coal is deep within the ground, and uh, we have to practically destroy the entire land to um, uh, get this most. Um, a lot of companies are saving thousands of million dollars by not using small um, ways to get rid of plastic waste. Um, and this is a big problem um, for our environment. And also, these uh, coal fire power plants are releasing out uh, CO2 emissions, uh, which creates greenhouse gas pollution. As you see here, these um, are aided within the best of our electrical sources. We need the best um, uh, use of electricity um, sustainably. And then finally, at the very bottom, we have tied next to nuclear power. Uh, coal, carbon combustion, and uh, sequestration. The video to show that coal-fired power plants affect the people on it, which jeopardizes their health and their livelihood. It will be provided in the slide show for you to click. Life of an individual dying as a result of exposure air pollution from coal may be shortened by 14 years. These are the effects of coal on respiratory system following our asthma development, mortality, and lung cancer. And the effects of coal on the cardiovascular systems are as follows Car arrhythmia, huge myocardial infarction, just of heart failure. The effects of coal in the central nervous system are as follows, systemic stroke, and developmental delays. So go ahead and go over the slides again if you'd like to read more about the information about the um, health effects of coal on our body. Coal affects our body, but also the environment. So Lani will go ahead and talk about that. So this is a video that talks about the effects of coal um, and but uh, more specifically how coal um, affects the people in the Philippines and the land as well. And we provide it on the slideshow for you to click. So this is a picture of open mining. Um, so open mining, a plant that is that um, when the multinational consider, um, they go from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain completely depleting all of its resources um, and um, you know before they do that they have to evict all the people from it in order to do that so the land is no longer fertile and they can't um, be used for agriculture anymore which is why um, when we say land is life if, if you take away the land by evicting all the people and if you take away its fertility um, there can be no life for those of life people so this is a picture of um, the effects of Typhoon Hai, which happened in 2013, uh, on record, it was the most devastating natural disaster um, in the Philippines. Um, and how coal is affected to climate change is that when there are all these mining, um, all the increase in mining affects the tectonic plates, which affects earthquakes, tsunamis, So 1995 was really important. Um, it shows that even though that these are multinational corporations that take advantage of the resources and the Philippine people, the Philippine government is very much complicit um, and are not holding accountable these corporations. So some of the effects on, um, of the Mining Act is the following. 100% foreign ownership of mining projects comes guaranteed against expropriation by the state, meaning that the state won't hold them accountable. Um, the government committed to ensuring the removal of all obstacles to mining, including settlements and farms, meaning that 
obstacles include peaceful types of companies that promise priority access to water resources with a concession. Companies have the right to sell gold directly to the international market without central bank intervention, meaning that because there is so little meant to keep um, these companies accountable, the companies have full control over the market. Leases last 25 years with an option of, 20, of a 25 year extension. So, is this all possible? Um, and this is due to Open by Nihon. Um, so, Open by Nihon, its objective that is the reduction of the capabilities of internal armed threat levels that they can no longer threaten the stability of the state and civil authorities. Uh, and authorities can ensure the safety and well-being of the Filipino people. Well, IPSP, the Internal Peace and Security Plan, um, the steps all hand in hand with the state-sponsored violence. Behind will use combat and non-combat operations, as well as government and non-government efforts to achieve the end goal of containing armed rebellion. Mayan denies the historical root causes of the armed conflict, seeing them as a mere problem of perception of relatives of deprivation. Whatever development that the IPSP advances will only be superficial and aimed at deceiving the people in order to control the suppression them. So, um, when looking at um, Oblombaini, uh, you understand that they are using this uh, plan in order to really take advantage of the land, which belongs to the people, and also taking advantage of the people as well. Uh, what I want to also acknowledge is that you had an intervention in, in the Philippines. As you get this diagram, there are all around the unit, um, around the world. Um, but I want to particularly notice the Philippines, which is, uh, this diagram says, more than 1,000 U.S. troops. And that, more than that. So, from, um, and the military in the budget for the Philippines has actually increased. From 2012 to 2015, the aid to the Philippines um, changed from $87 million to 50 million. Now, this year, due to the Enhanced Defense Corporation Cooperation Agreement, and, um, military aid has now been increased to $29 million. And uh, um, um, with that increase in troops, there are currently 16 troops in the field with only in the U.S. troops and uh, it makes you wonder there is no war in the Philippines against the U.S. Um, uh, there is uh, well, I should say the U.S. is not at war with the Philippines yet there are more troops there than in Iraq which is uh, makes you really wonder why is it that there are troops there and uh, as mentioned earlier it's due to open behind it's the troops there to um, address the, um, they say it's to address the, uh, the, the rebel organizations that are happening there, but uh, what you can see is that uh, this is also as a way to bodyguard, um, a way to bodyguard the mining corporations from the back. In this diagram, um, which is uh, from 2001-2013, you can see that the U.S. presence is throughout the entire um, uh, You can uh, uh, once find the why is that due to EDCA? Um, uh, there has been an increase, as mentioned before. And uh, where does all this come from? It, it, the they could be able to give in so much power. And it's because that we have big power. Um, with the president uh, saying something like this, 
um, uh, you want to use wind energy. What if it's wind? You want to use solar power. What if it's a cloud side? What would it say when they are busy fanning themselves when the electricity is out? Now, you see, this is a very ignorant comment by Nono Yakino in the summer of 2013. And clearly, that he is not aware of, of the sustainable practices, how great they actually are. Um, uh, this also also really show that, that he is really determined in keeping to the coal power plant, um, a, a main source of energy within the Philippines. Uh, this is a great way for them to continue mining act of 1995 and to continue the mining operations that are currently happening where um, uh, rich only get richer. Although there are many people that are clearly against the operations, um, uh, we have a list of people, just a few of them here, um, of uh, environmental activists that have been killed as a result of protesting against it. Against um, through through John by Nihan. Um, so and read some of the IOs biographies here, or Google some of the names as well. And lastly, so to resist the protests that are currently happening. Um, we have a lot of uh, legal protests happening around the entire archipelago. Um, uh, as you can see in this diagram, all of green represents people's struggles um, um, getting through legal means, uh, through protests, um, all across the entire archipelago. And uh, the yellow meaning actual government entities being up resistance as well. Uh, something mentioned earlier was South Cotabato um, taking up their that they will no longer accept the large-scale mining happening within their area. And finally, some have taken up armed resistance as they see that these migrations are not backing out and uh, they have noted that this may be the best way to approach it. Some themselves are also protesting in the streets. They're mobilizing everywhere in the Philippines. And one of the campaigns that they're really upholding is to stop the killings and stop the large-scale mining. They do this so that the government can hold accountable to all the inhumane practices that they've been uh, doing into their ancestral land, and also to let the other people be aware that this is happening in the Philippines. Uh, and the work that we're doing is really important because we're trying to make sure that the they brought out on social media called Stop the Mining Killings. And some of the that we use with Stop the Mining Killings, hashtag Give Us Four, hashtag In the Community, hashtag Stop the Mining Killings, hashtag Ed Open by Nihon, hashtag Education Not Nourish by Addition, hashtag Education Not Nourish by Addition, hashtag Stop the Mining Killings. For me, back home in Hawaii, um, after the killing of three of my big leaders back in December 2000, to have a talk story session um, about, about education that militarization. The group here is called the Colonial Pie, which is a group of Filipino Filipino women um, who conduct the struggle of militarization across the country. And here's some sort of all different organizations combined USA, WUSA, Durante, IAM, um, Shin Solidarity, the Kuruman people. to mention the International People's Tribunal. Um, uh, last summer in 2015, uh, there was to hold uh, Obama and also Nono Aquino accountable for their actions uh, within the past years on their human rights violations, um, uh, particularly to mining corporations and also to the mining um, situation to Oberlin by Nihon and uh, the inhumane practices uh, that are happening. 
at trial, it was unanimous that Obama and also the Aquino administration were guilty of human rights violations. This is the BC Kabatan Network. As mentioned in the beginning, we would encourage you all to go to this MIN as it is a great way for you to really understand the mental effects that are happening within the Philippines. Um, it is a national network where youth uh, youth and around the, the nation can go to the Philippines, to all three islands, and then uh, be able to contribute in relief and rehabilitation work. And then finally, we all would like to say that, that we're not already part of the National Democratic Movement. It is uh, encouraged that you do join. Organizing is the best way to fight against uh, all of these human rights violations and also environmental um, violations. So, that is it. Is it? So, uh, Thanks for joining us. And uh, to end it off, we'd like to do Sun Bad Suck. So, uh, All right. Thanks, y'all. Have a good night, a good day, and uh, see you next time.